All right, guys, we are going to use uh, Brazil today, Interlagos. Welcome to Sao Paulo, which has been host to Formula One races since 1973. Sit back and relax for what's going to be a fantastic Brazilian Grand Prix. It's an unusual anti-clockwise race here at Interlagos, where the Sao Paulo locals are packed into the grandstands at each of the 15 corners around this classic 2.7 mile circuit. Two very fast sections bookend the famous and highly technical sector two. We're getting a good run out of Jun Sao into one. With that then, let's run through the grid order. Daniel Ricciardo. You should have some space going into the first corner, so try to keep it tidy. Okay, guys, uh, they're going to start me out in third place. I'm using Valtteri Bottas with Mercedes. I've never been a Mercedes guy, so I don't use them a lot. But uh, I wanted you guys, I showed part of the title because I really wanted you guys to see the elevation changes. See how I'm heading down, down, uh, downhill on the Senna S, named after Ayrton Senna. Rest in peace. Passed away in San Marino in 1994. Okay, I got one position back there, which is good. Oh, there you go. Two and one. Wow. Surprise, surprise. Maybe that's because I'm in a Mercedes. Who knows? Is that the two? Oh, wow. The two Red Bulls are racing it out together. <laughs> they were side by... You know, they shouldn't do that. They can get themselves in a wreck and take themselves completely out of the race. So, Red Bull is Daniel Ricciardo and Max Verstappen. They're really going at it right there. Wow. Oh, oops, I just damaged the wing. Be careful with the front wing. You've taken some minor damage. Okay, the elevation changes again, absolutely beautiful. The last major turn, then we just go into curves. I did five laps this time in Sao Paulo because uh, it's a shorter track. I believe it's the sh actually the shortest track of the year. Uh, a lot of the tracks have unique little features. This is the uh, shortest track of the year, and Singapore is the night race. The longest track is Spa in Belgium. And uh, wow, this is a fast car. I'm actually uh, caught up four places in uh, one lap. Let's see where he's at. Yeah, the Red Bulls were really racing it out for a while. I'm, I'm shocked. I don't recall ever seeing that in this video game before. Having, uh, you know, there's a reason, as you guys can uh, figure out, why each team has two cars. You know, uh, every year it changes. It used to be eight engines, but now uh, each car is given five engines each. And when you have two cars on the track, the chances of finishing a race are, uh, are a lot higher because you're not so uh, that has a lot to do with the uh, the way they see cars in the constructors championship obviously mercedes makes its own engine and ferrari does too good job that was the fastest lap of the race so far wow he does have a fast car the senna s oh, took that turn way too fast i'm already hitting full throttle right there into the straight this is the first DRS zone. And I break there right at about 60 meters, a little bit too late. Maybe I should have done it at 70. I'm already at full throttle right there. You can see the little banners. There's 50 meters right there, and that's why I hit the brakes. Love these elevation changes. Climbing uphill again, into the duckbill turn. Okay, there's the right side curve. If you notice on these turns, they always put curves where they think you're gonna end up. See how there's a curve on the left, but then disappears. There's a curve right there, because they know you might use it. And now you can see there's no curb on either side. You've lost some time to the car behind. There's a curb.
curb right there. See how there's a curb on the right? Curb on the left. Use those curbs. Use the full track. Oh wow, I did lose time right there. Wow, he's on me. This is some real racing. I thought I had this. Oh, he just overtook me. Wow, okay, I can't tell who that is. But, you know, obviously it's either Ricardo or Verstappen. I think the other Red Bull's right behind me, too. Wow, I didn't think I could get that back. Yeah, they, these guys are aggressive. Brilliant. Nice move. Okay, the last turn. Then the rest of curves. Looks like it's the two Red Bulls right behind me. Yeah, these guys this is your playing. final lap. Final lap of the race. All right, a little bit of braking there so I can get into the turn. Not full throttle there. And as soon as you hit the apex here, now hit full throttle into the DRS zone. Now they will get DRS behind. Yes, he might get DRS behind me, so I gotta be careful. That means he's going about 13 miles per hour faster than me. It's a short DRS zone, so he didn't catch up. If you hear me getting off the throttle on straightaways, that means I have missed the turn and I have not hit that turn correctly. And so I'm actually having to uh, re-gauge the turn by getting off the throttle, which gives me uh, more time to get back in line. It's not a sound. You want to hear the throttle going smoothly. You don't want to hear that rum, rum, rum. Okay, now basically it's, it's just a curve, so you're not going to hear much with the engine. But on the more complicated turns, you hear me going off the throttle like in weird in weird ways that's you worked hard for that one congratulations all right Valtteri good job it's got a nice car there thank you guys please like share and subscribe and have a good day